there are multiple ways of doing the turn in. You can get to it from the calendar manager screen or you can do it from the turn in screen. I'm going to start by going to the turn in. From whatever the reporter turned in, you have a job number from an email from RV Web, whichever job information that you have, you can type in the job number in here and pull it up. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a job date range from and to. I'm going to select May 1st, and then I'm going to select May 14th. So that way I can see all the jobs for this week. Click search, and my two jobs come up. So I have a cancel job and then I have a new job. This is the job that I want to turn in. I'm going to open this job. This is what the turn in screen looks like. It's broken up to four different steps. We're going to go through steps one first. And I'm going to click on the new button, which is adding the witness. John Doe automatically comes up because this is the witness that was entered at the time of scheduling. If it was some other witness, then you would delete this and put in the correct witness name. I'm going to tab over. The unit is the number of pages that was turned in for the transcript. I'm going to tab over to deduct. If you want to deduct any pages to the reporter pay, so for example, some people add word indexes that they don't want to pay the reporter, but they charge the client. So in here, if I were to charge five pages of word index and I don't want to pay them, I would put five in here. I'm going to tab over, and from begin and end, it's going to be 1 to 45. In this case, I'll leave this at zero. Volume, if it was multiple volumes, you can put in volume 1, 2, or 3. And then last, exhibit marks. Sometimes you need to note that. So I'll put in like 3B, for example. A resource will automatically populate for you if there was a reporter assigned to the job. If one was not the resource that was taken on this job, then you would click on the binoculars and select the correct reporter. In this case, if one was a reporter, so I'll leave it on here. There is an actual start and end time field. So if you select this and you want to note somewhere in the system how long that reporter stayed, you pay hourly and you want to make sure that you pay the reporter correctly. It defaults to the start and end time of the job. I'm going to go to 2 p.m. Reporter stayed a little bit longer than expected. And then remarks is any kind of notes internally that you want to put in here. You can put in notes about the reporter. You can put in notes about this witness or anything about the attorneys that order for these jobs. Click Save, and then a witness level repository tab comes up. This is for you to upload files to the RV repository. The RV repository is like a big file cabinet where you can store files pertaining to this witness. So I'm going to click on the new button and I have an option to select files or select a folder. The difference is I can select folders by picking one by one or multiple files at the same time. If I do select folder, I click on a folder and upload every single file within that folder. So I'm going to select file and I'm going to select my transcripts. And here's that transcript that was turned in by the reporter. It defaults to transcript, which is good because this file is indeed a transcript. So if I wanted to, I can click on this drop down and I can select a different file, for example, like exhibit. This publish checkbox is to publish on Aubrey Web so that the reporter or the attorney can view this file and download it. You have different options of access types. All is for the reporter, for you, and for the attorney. Contacts in office is for the attorney and yourself. And then office only, just for yourself. Resources in office for resources and then you. But in this case, I'm going to select all because I don't care that the reporter sees it and I want the attorney to see it because they're going to be ordering. Under the description, you can type in any description that you want. For example, I'm going to type in transcript file for John Doe. Now, you don't have to put in a description in here because by saving this file, you're going to see that it is a transcript because the file type. You're going to see the file name, and then you'll see the witness name up here. To upload other files, like the exhibit, click on New. Click on Select Files. I'm going to choose my Exhibits folder. Select all my exhibits. All the file types default to transcript because that's what I have my default set to. So I have to change these to exhibits. Instead of having to go through each one of these files, sometimes I'll have maybe 20, 30 exhibits. I'm going to select on the first one, hold the Shift key on my keyboard, and click on the last one, and it highlights all of them. We created a button here at the top, Bulk Update. 
I'm going to click on that, and now it's going to ask me which field do I want to update. I'm going to select my file type, and then I'm going to choose Exhibit. Click Save. I'll click OK, and then all my file types has changed to Exhibit, so it saved me a lot of time there. Now, I also want to publish all these files because I want the attorney to download them. So I'm going to click on Bulk Update, change this to Publish, and set value to Yes. Save. And now they're all checked as published. Click Save, and now it's going to upload all these files for me. Now everything has been archived, stores on your server, that's backed up, and you can access these files from any computer that has RB on it.